गुड ईवनिंग वेलकम एलू स्वागत एलू नमस्कार दि मच एवेटेड कटन आन दि एरो इंडिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इज गोयिंग टू बी लिफ्टेड इन ए शार्ट वेल फ्रॉम नाउ इट्स मै प्रउड प्रिवलेज एंड ऑनर टू वेलकम द डिग्नेटरी सन एन एस श्री राजनाथ सिंह डिफेन्स मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑनरेबल श्री बसवराज बोमई चीफ मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटक श्री अजय भट्ट रक्षा राज्य मंत्री गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्री गिरीधर अरमाने डिफेंस सेक्रेटरी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मिसेस वंदिता शर्मा चीफ सेक्रेटरी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटक डॉक्टर ई वी एम रमणा रेड्डी अडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी कामर्स एंड इंडस्ट्रीज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटक श्री गौरव गुप्ता अडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट पोर्ट्स इनलैंड वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटक श्री टी नटराजन अडिशनल सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन श्री अनुराग बाजपेयी जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन एंड मई कोलीग श्री अचल मल्होत्रा डायरेक्टर डिफेंस एग्जिबिशन ऑर्गनजेशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन ब्रीफली अबाउट टू डेज प्रोग्राम वी विल बिगिन विथ अ प्रेजेंटेशन फ्रॉम कमांडर अचल मल्होत्रा ऑन वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एरो इंडिया it will be followed by uh, remarks from honorable chief minister of government of karnataka and then addressed by shri rajnath singh defense minister then we will have uh, some question and answer session uh, without waiting wasting much of time i request commander achal malhotra to begin his presentation thank you रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ कर्नाटका श्री बसवराज बोमई जी ऑनरेबल रक्षा राज्य मंत्री श्री अजय भट्ट जी डिफेंस सेक्रेटरी श्री गिरिधर अरमाने चीफ सेक्रेटरी श्रीमती वंदिता शर्मा एडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट पोर्ट्स एंड इंग्लैंड वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट डिपार्टमेंट श्री गौरव गुप्ता एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन श्री सेक्रेटरी डी श्री अनुराग वाजपेयी ए डी Shri Bharat Bhushan Babu distinguished dignitaries and guests friends from the media ladies and gentlemen namaskara ellarigu aero india su swagata good evening and welcome to the 14th edition of aero india 23 today as we raise the curtains from one of the most important and largest aerospace exhibitions in the world we are also opening doors to an exceptional opportunity for building relationships with the world and announcing our openness to welcome business in aerospace and defense sector including building on new technologies for the indian aviation industry aero india is to showcase india's growth in aerospace and defense capabilities it projects india as a global manufacturing hub showcases design leadership and growth in uav sector in defense space promotes our exports of air platforms for this edition we have a focus on lca tejas we attract foreign investments including invitations for co development and co production within the country and we also aim to integrate our msmes and start the chains i have the proud privilege of presenting the largest ever aero india to this august gathering the structure of the presentation would be a broad program layout and major events and key takeaways why do we call this event the largest is because of these statistics that we put across to you we announced the aero india in november 2022 and very quickly we sold the available infrastructure we had to build three new halls to accommodate additional requests and uh, we are happy that we could accommodate most of our the, most of our industry participants within this aero india at the flying display which you will witness in the next uh, Five days. We have 67 aircrafts in the air, 36 on the tarmac, and our number of exhibitors are indeed very high at 809. Also, we have more than half of the world coming down for Aero India 23. 98 countries have indicated that they will be present with us during the business days, and also we have 251. Uh, partnerships that will be forged between companies 
during this this course of the event in the five days the first three days would be business days 13 february and thereafter it would open to public wherein individuals enthusiasts will get an opportunity to see the exhibition and also witness the flying display the broad structure we stand here today to Aero India and what it, it has in store and we conclude with, with an all inclusive uh, public uh, days for the last two days. Broadly, we start tomorrow morning with the inaugural which includes an integrated flying display, the inauguration of the India Pavilion which has the expanse of our aerospace and defence manufacturing sector, niche technologies. Proudly, we have stitched up the new India Pavilion which is just four months into the previous edition and we have many more new products to showcase. We have the CEO's roundtable wherein foreign and Indian CEOs are coming across. Seminars will run concurrently over the next three days which I will brief you. We have a networking dinner. Flying displays will continue each day one day during business days. We also have on day two the defence minister's conclave which is acronym SPEED. Flying display. The third day will have the annual startup event, Manthan and Bandhan ceremony. Most of us we are familiar with the uh, location of Aero India, but just to recapture, the entire uh, event is on the runway strip at the Air Force Station Yalanka. You will have to approach from the main highway into the exhibition. The first event is the inaugural area. Thereafter, the exhibition opens for business for the first three days. We will also open for the public uh, to view this particular flying display from the visual area which is uh, slightly ahead from the exhibition area. To approach the uh, business days in inaugural area is the schematic that I have shown you. It's an arterial road. This, you, this will be your main approach road. For our friends in media, uh, this is also important because this will be your route tomorrow morning. And in the rest of the exhibition, you will have two approaches, one into the exhibition as it is shown on this particular road and the others, you will have to go a little far down if you are coming from the Bangalore airport side and if you are coming from the Vidhan Sauda side, uh, you will have to come a little short of it and turn left. There are additional gates. These are the two broad approaches to the event. Government of Karnataka has taken special attention sure that this is uh, a convenient event for those who are interested in seeing the uh, air display and they have created two satellite parkings. One is at the Jakur Aerodrome, other is at the GKVK. These uh, satellite buses will be operating to bring the, uh, the public uh, from, from these satellite parking to the air, air display as for the flying display time, timelines. We start tomorrow, early in the morning, we request all of you to make yourselves uh, seated 90 minutes prior to the commencement of the mark time at 9.30. Come early to avoid any uh, traffic jams and uh, any opportunities for missing out this prestigious edition of Aero India. You will arrive at this gate. Uh, please make sure that you have respect for all the security protocols in place. We are fortunate that the Honourable Prime Minister has kindly consented to grace the Aero India inaugural ceremony. So it's a it's important that we all respect the security protocols in place. You will for the media we have an exclusive gallery marked for you, whereas the others will will be seated in the marked positions. For the first time, we anticipate as we have seen a lot of rush for the exhibitors, so also for the inaugural. So this is going to be the biggest ever stadium for the inaugural. We have increased the capacity to about 4,000 uh, people. We have many requests and we've tried to accommodate as many as it's been feasible. The spot in blue is where most of the media present with us would be seated. So when you enter, you'll have to take left and you'll be seated comfortably and be able to cover this event tomorrow onwards. The next uh, import, the next marquee pavilion is the India Pavilion. We have a total of 115 companies 
showcasing uh, close to 200 plus 227 products, uh, 149 in physical and the balance through the electronic media form. This, uh, this India Pavilion will be part of the inaugural ceremony integrated into the, uh, uh, the, the tomorrow morning's function. The central element of the India Pavilion is the LCA Tejas Mark 1. The aircraft is positioned there to convey our intent to make this a global platform for others to also see its capabilities and also see it first hand. Around uh, the LCA Tejas, we have four zones that have created, uh, that have been created which have exclusively Indian companies in displaying their products. The first zone is the fixed wing ecosystem of our, within our country. Drones and anti-drone technologies in the next zone. Space technologies that can be used in defense is the next zone and futuristic technologies by startups like artificial intelligence, quantum communication, robotics and 5G. Day 2 starts with uh, engagement at the highest level. We have the C, the uh, so, sorry, day 1, second half we have the CEO's round table. We have 73 confirmations uh, and 27 from the foreign uh, companies. Most of the global foreign companies uh, that do business in the aerospace and defense domain have consented to be present at this particular important forum. The companies that are likely to be uh, brainstorming at the CEO's round table is flashed in front of your screens. We have all, all the major foreign OEMs without naming any. On day two, we commence with uh, bilateral. Uh, uh, we we, we commence with the defence minister's conclave, acronym SPEED. SPEED stands for Shared Prosperity through Enhanced Engagement in Defence. The conclave will commence at 10 a.m. Uh, at the Taj Western. 32 foreign defence ministers have uh, conveyed their uh, confirmations to attend this particular prestigious conclave. 29 air chiefs from friendly foreign countries are also attending. The conclave would address aspects related to deeper cooperation for capability building through investments, research and development, JVs, co-development, co-production and provisioning, training, space, AI, cyber security and maritime security to grow together as envisioned by our Honorable Prime Minister under the Sagar. Manthan is the marquee event on day three. Uh, the IDEX uh, in Invest in Defence Excellence was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister in, in April 2018. Since then, two IDEX products have been procured by the armed forces and 14 are uh, under procurement. The Manthan will exhibit deep tech innovations developed by IDEX winners. We will also launch DISC-9 which is uh, in cyber security and IDEX investors hub will also be launched during this uh, event. The investors will also uh, be, uh, be showcased. They will be live pitching by IDEX startups to seek investment into their startup. This aims to connect the startups with angel investors and venture capitalists. We will also launch Innovate for Defence uh, internship programs. This is uh, a way to for the startups to mentor others who would probably be uh, thinking it will be about a 45 days attachment under these startups. Felicitation of IDEX winners, MOUs with marquee investors in, like InSpace, ISPA, banks, uh, BRO, etc. There is also panel discussions on next gen warfare and deep tech uh, focusing on space and cyber security and harnessing startup ecosystem for technology leadership. Concurrently on all the three days, we have uh, nine seminars. Uh, most, of, most of the seminars will be on the defense and other ecosystem. But interestingly, the first seminar focuses to find a platform for using the potential of our ex-servicemen uh, who have the capability to contribute tremendously to the Indian defense industry. This is also an attempt of the Ministry of Defense to integrate the ex-servicemen into the industry for uh, using their experience and expertise into this particular thing. We have Indian Defence Space Initiative, Indian's development of futuristic airspace technology. Destination Karnataka is a very important seminar to seek investment into this particular uh, 
uh, aerospace uh, uh, state, advancement in maritime surveillance, sustenance in MRO, and achieving ex excellence in defense grade drones, Atman Nirbharta in aero armament, and indigenous development of key enablers for network centric operations in aerospace. We conclude by uh, accounting for what has happened in uh, Aero India. Our marquee event is Bandhan. Bandhan aims to forge business to business partnerships for furthering business. It, B2B collaborations are arrived through sustained interactions much before we come into Aero India on mutually agreed terms. The Indian companies bond with foreign OEMs leading to investments, transfer of technologies and orders. It's an opportunity to discover new arrangements between established partners and integrate into their supply chains of the major OEMs. 251 bandhans expected uh, in Aero India would aim to give uh, a total business value of 75,000 crores. Government of Karnataka has uh, uh, 32 MOUs to be announced during the bandhan ceremony. Aero India therefore is truly the runway to a billion opportunities because India has a market size which is the fifth largest economy. It's, it's, a, it's one of the hugest market size. It has the human resource wherein we have uh, a good demography of people. 35 years and below is almost 65%. We have policy interventions which have been uh, in place for uh, corrective actions, low cost in operation. Uh, some statistics which convey that India is truly ready as an investment hub in an air force. So to, to summarize, uh, we, are, uh, we are going to achieve the following through Aero India. We will showcase India's manufacturing capabilities, public private sector uh, including MSMEs and uh, the India pavilion which will showcase the aerospace capabilities and the largest pavilion set up by Karnataka. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, wonderful presentation, Commander Rachel. I now request uh, Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Karnataka, Sri Basavaraj Bommaiji, to deliver his address.